Why do I see diversity as critical? That has always struck me as a question not even worth asking. Employee populations that don't reflect our community populations uh, means that we're making unfair decisions about who we hire, who we promote. There's uh, very clear evidence that diversity of population drives diversity of thinking. Diversity of thinking leads to better decisions, better judgments, more creative solutions. Pat's leadership style is beautifully understated. He has this ability to really elicit trust from the people around him, and you know that he's going to always have your back. I would say Pat's leadership style inspires loyalty. I think that he leads by example, and he encourages other people to do their best because he's doing his best. You get the best out of people when they feel empowered. Pat leads in the way that motivates them to essentially become an influencer. He's very personable, he's very respectful. He always acts with honesty and integrity, and most importantly, he inspires all of those others around him. Pat was the chair of the Lorraine Scholars Foundation for two years. In that boardroom, he's able to provide and create an environment where everybody feels comfortable stating what sometimes is actually very difficult to state. I was facing some challenges and Pat offered me a very safe and open environment in which I could discuss them freely and openly. He kind of made me consider various ways, various alternatives in which I can attack the situation to find resolution. I was actually Pat's reverse mentor, so as a mentee I found Pat to be extremely willing to learn and understand a, you know, a junior professionals. He was able to look at issues, you know, large or small, from a different lens and really understand things from a different perspective. Pat's mentorship of me really impacted my professional development when we were going through a significant reorganization of our business and his guidance and advice helped steer me through that process. The best piece of advice that Pat gave me was no one will ever thank you for being negative. So by all means to challenge issues and to bring problems to the forefront but come with a solution and a positive attitude. He offered me a zillion pieces of advice without me knowing it because he always did it in such a way that he made me think it was my idea in the first place. And that's pretty brilliant of Pat. I think Pat is deserving of this award because he has promoted all kinds of diversity throughout every stage of his career. I think he does it not through a sense of obligation but an understanding that it's the right thing to do for our business and for the industry. When Pat Cronin's in the room, there's no ego. There is no self-interested secret agenda. Pat truly is a very kind, honest, and caring human being. Congratulations, Pat. Congratulations, Pat. Pat, just continue to kill it. Congratulations, Pat, for this well-deserved award. And uh, here's hoping that one day they actually let you retire. So I want to say thank you to Women in Capital Markets for honoring me with the Transformational Leadership Award. I feel extremely humbled, uh, especially when I look at the amazing people that have won this award before me, both at our firm and at many others. Uh, I feel humbled to be in that company. Uh, I would like to think I'm accepting this award on behalf of all of the amazing people across BMO who work so hard on this issue every day. I'm lucky enough to be here receiving this award, but really it's their hard work that have put me in this spot. So thank you.